Uh, my name is Megan Klein. I'm the lead physical therapist here in Waconia, as well as the director of clinical development for Odom Health and Wellness. Um, we're based outside of the Lighthouse Assisted Living Facilities around the Twin Cities thus far, and we work with both residents and members of the community. Before I worked at Odom Health and Wellness, I worked at a skilled nursing facility in the Twin Cities. Um, and surprisingly, the patient population was very similar. While when I came here, I expected the patients to be at a higher functioning level with less problems due to the fact that they were still living outside of these skilled nursing facilities, the truth was that they are at about the same functional level with the same number of difficulties as compared to my previous patients. So we use the balance system with a number of different types of patients. One of my favorite types of patients to use it with is a stroke patient. Oh my gosh, 37. The feedback that it gives the patient in terms of the amount of weight bearing they're putting through their affected side gives them immediate feedback. So while I tell them to keep their weight balanced between the two legs, the, the picture itself is what the patient is looking for. It's also really um, helpful in patients um, with Parkinson's disease um, who have a tendency of falling backwards they can get the feedback that shows them they're falling backwards, but they also can um, use the machine to practice getting the weight forward in their toes, um, being able to um, control their um, balance and their center of gravity in ways that they were too afraid to do before. Surprisingly, we've been able to use it with dementia patients a lot who have balance issues. The games and the training techniques are usually simple enough where they can figure out the task or the goal and they can do it within a setting where we can have them in a harness and they have less fear of falling. A lot of times it's difficult to get activities with multiple directions for a dementia patient to perform, but in this instance they're usually able to follow the directions well enough to complete the task and get their center of gravity in different positions outside their base of support, which they're not typically used to doing. So that noise is telling you every time your foot hits, so you want to kind of keep it like a metro, what are those called, metronome, like a metronome. As a foot to metronome. Well, that's why I sounded silly, thought it sounded silly saying it. How's the speed? Okay. Good. So on the gait trainer, the patient can see virtually every aspect of their gait pattern. While they're walking, it shows their feet and it shows the zone that they want to be in in terms of step length. So each step shows a foot in, in a particular zone and if they hit it, then that's when they get the auditory feedback of a beep. So they can listen for the consistent beeping while watching for the placement of the foot inside the, the desired zone. Um, the patients also love to get competitive with themselves so they can see their gait speed and the time they're going and each time they want to try and beat the speed and beat the distance that they've gone before. So it's um, a big motivational tool for a lot of the patients. So the rail system is surprisingly one of the things that I use the most in the treatment room because it has so many different options that you can do with it. Um, the greatest thing about it is it um, frees up the therapist. So now I don't have to stand and hold the patient. I can be around them. I can be throwing things at them. I can be having them kick things back at me. So both their um, postural reactions, but also their um, anticipatory postural reactions. Um, one of the greatest benefits is the, the patient has to use their um, postural reactions. If you're holding onto a patient with a gait belt, um, as soon as they begin to show signs of falling, you're going to grab on tight and you're going to correct it so that they don't fall. But in the harness, you can trust the system enough so as they start to lose their balance, they have to take those corrective steps because it feels like they're going to fall, but as a therapist, you know they're not. So you can actually give them the opportunity to take those steps and uh, perform what their body is trying to perform. We use the BioStep with virtually everyone. Um, the patients that I like to use it the best with are those cardiovascular patients, the ones with um, COPD or low activity tolerance because we can um, get exact measurements on how far they can go, how fast they're going, at what resistance, and then um, they see those numbers and they try to beat them every time. So we can monitor their oxygen, we can monitor their heart rate, and we can push them to go further and further distances. 
Not everyone is going to tolerate walking far distances or using the treadmill far distances, but it's surprising um, as far as the people you can put on the bio step. Uh, we have some patients who can't even stand, and we can put them on the bio step to strengthen their legs and to stretch out their legs as they're stuck in their wheelchair for long periods of the day. So really, just about anyone can, can tolerate it.